Now, let's get into the Word. Amen. Amen. I may have to get it. See if I can spell that right. I need somebody to get this out. Just make sure it's on the set. I'll get it that I take. I'll get it that I can take. It. So it's possible. All right. As we get ready to go into the Word of God this morning, I'm going to give you half the message today. I'm going to finish it up Wednesday night. Uh, I will come forward with you uh, to deal with the second half of this. We're going to cover quite a bit of material. You must be born again. Mankind, out of all of God's creatures, is the only group that qualifies for the new birth. No angels, whether they be cherubims or seraphims or the ministering spirit, the common angels, they cannot experience the new birth. This is why angels are condemned to hell. Satan is condemned to hell because he cannot be born again. For he did not come to a process of what we call gestation. In other words, a pregnancy where an opposite sex come together and produce an offspring. The Bible says that angels are neither male nor female. They have masculine names. Names that you would think they were male. But they are neither male nor female. But the Bible said the question was asked to Jesus. If a woman married a man and he died, and his brother came and then married her to raise up seeds unto the brother, that's the way it was in that custom. Then that brother died, and he had another brother, and that brother came and married that lady. In. Seven times, said the Holy Ghost. She married, and the husbands died. So they asked the question, whose wife would she be in the resurrection? <laughs> Jesus said, you do err, and you do not know the scripture. He said, for over there are in the resurrection, they neither marry or give it in marriage. You don't even get engaged to have a girlfriend or a boy. So don't look for you to have some beautiful girlfriend in heaven. No girlfriend in heaven. I'll stay in heaven with you. There won't be any spouses in heaven. But the Bible said we will be as the angels. I'll stay in heaven with you. What a time we're going to have. <laughs> because God's going to change everything. But in order for Jesus Christ to come into the world, he had to come into the world legally. He could not come in the world and in his form as son of God, in spirit form, because he would have entered this earthly realm illegally. The devil, I don't know how he did it, but I know God punished the serpent for allowing the devil to do it. The devil entered into a serpent and he entered mankind and was able to tempt mankind through the serpent. Right. And God cursed the serpent okay. and said, on your belly yeah. shall you eat dust right. the rest of your life. Help me, hold yeah. on. But Jesus came down through 42 generations right. on the human side. Yeah. Now, let me just give you a little Old Testament. You were not allowed to wear clothing the Jews, that had wool and linen mixed. Because wool came out of the animal kingdom, and linen came from cotton out of the plant kingdom. And God said, you are not to mingle the seeds. Help me, Holy Ghost. God, help me with this. You were not supposed to take the milk off the cow and then boil the meat in, of the, the cow in the milk. Now, I, I know I love this, this, this great 
heavy, they, they call it a oh, heavy Holy Ghost. It's, 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 it's the one that they put the cream in. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They use egg yolks and cream. Okay, y'all don't go to no more. <laughs> I'll think of it in a minute. But it's the one. Yes. They use egg, egg yolk and cream. All of them. All of them. Yeah, y'all. I see y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. know what I'm talking about. They were not supposed to milk the, the dairy product which came out of the cow and make any type of savory gravy or sauces using the meat from the animal that the milk came out of. Yeah, yeah. So then, so, then, so then when the devil came through the serpent, he came into the world illegally. But Jesus came into this world the right way. He came down through a woman. Now watch this. This is very important because when the angel came to Mary, he said of it, you are highly favored and blessed with the Lord. And, 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 and God uh, wants to overshadow you and, and produce in you his son into this world. And then she said a statement that lets us know that the spirit world has to have our permission to enter this world. Because the Bible said, she said to Gabriel, the angel, let it be unto me <laughs> according to your words. Help me hold the Lord. He could not come into the world without her permission. No, not in your way. So to be born again, we need to go to the one that has come down through the proper channels. Right. That's why the devil is known as anti-Christ or anti-anointed. Because he's against everything that God has established. Amen. And when he tricked the man and the woman, the Bible says dominion was given to him. Now, let me explain that right quick. We're going to get into this. The Bible says when he deceived Eve, she ate of the fruit and gave it to her husband. Adam then transferred dominion. Right. God had created everything. Right. And then he gave Adam the authority over everything. Yeah. But when Adam and Eve listened to the devil, yeah. the Bible says then the devil became the prince and the power of the devil. Yeah. Let me explain that. Because when he was in heaven, the Bible said there was a war in heaven, and the devil and his angels fought. And while they were fighting, the Bible said Michael stood up. And Michael, who was an archangel, and his angels fought against the devil and cast him down. Amen. Now, when he was cast down to the ground, he was earthbound. But when Adam and Eve gave up their dominion, right. he became the prince and the power of the earth. That the Holy Ghost. Here's where we are. This is where we are right now. That first Adam. Was born again, or watch that, I know we mess with theology. The first Adam was born again backwards. The first Adam was born again backwards. When God formed him out of the dust and breathed into his nostril, the Bible said he became. Yeah. A living soul. Yeah. He had direct contact right. with the breath of God. Right. He came here righteous and upright. Right. Yeah. He had no contaminated blood. Y'all not in here with me. He, he wasn't like we are. The reason that we are born with the condition we have is because of Adam's blood. But Adam didn't have any contaminated blood in him. And so when he sinned, he went backwards. Yeah. But we start out crooked. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get a sip. Yeah. We start out crooked. Yeah. But Adam started out right. The Bible said in the image and in the likeness of God, upright. Yeah. Stay with me. So then when he sinned, he went backwards. Yeah. But we already started where Adam ended up. Yeah. Then we have to be born again. But Adam was born again backwards. Then he had to be born again again. Help the Holy Ghost. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we are. Yeah. The Bible says Jesus was the what? Last what? Yeah. He's the last Adam. Yeah. Just like the first Adam called all to become unrighteous, the Bible says that the last Adam makes all men righteous. Yeah. So Adam went backwards. Yeah. We're going forward. 
because of the last Adam, because of the trouble that the first Adam got us into. Now don't get me that. Repeat that. 